America's airports are getting a much needed makeover now. The FAA has made nearly one billion in grants available to upgrade airports across the U.S. It's part of a broader multi-year five billion dollar initiative to improve the nation's infrastructure. Many U.S. airports are long overdue for such a maintenance overhaul. The average terminal is more than 40 years old now. So joining us now is part of Yahoo Finance's Travel Guide 2024. Industry Insights, Kevin DeGood, Center for American Progress, Director of infrastructure policy. So Kevin, maybe just to start big picture, why are we spending this money now, Kevin? And, and what kind of upgrades do you think we can expect to see here? Well, you know, each year uh, the FAA spends a little more than $4 billion through the Airport Improvement Program, or AIP. Um, and these funds support really essential capital projects. This is everything from runway and taxiway construction, rehabilitation, airfield drainage improvements, lighting, uh, signage communications, land acquisition, really everything that airports need to grow and thrive. And these dollars are especially critical for smaller airports that aren't able to generate quite as much revenue through their operations because they don't handle as many daily flights. In addition to that, what we saw with the passage of the bipartisan infrastructure law in November of 2021 was an additional $20 billion for airports, 15 of that through formulas and another five through terminal modernization. And these are really record uh, historic expenditures. And they're gonna support all kinds of projects around the country that people will notice in the coming years. Well, I should hope so, Kevin, because I have to say, if you know, if, for people who are fortunate enough to for, say, fly to an, another country and have seen their airports, our airports, look pretty shoddy by comparison. And even in the U.S., there's a lot of unevenness in the state of terminals and the consumer experience here. So, you know, how quickly can people expect to see some improvements and what, how much of it will be stuff that they can actually see and experience? Right. It's a great question. You know, what we should think about is these dollars coming out of Washington are going to supplement a lot of the work, particularly that large hub airports are already doing. If we take um, just a little bit of a survey, LaGuardia is in the process of more than $6 billion worth of major terminal overhauls and reconstruction for terminals B and C. O'Hare is in the middle of a roughly $12 billion capital campaign. JFK has got four new terminals in the works. That's another 19 billion. Uh, LAX is in the process of wrapping up $15 billion worth of work with more projects in the pipeline uh, that are ready to be bid out in anticipation of the Olympics coming in a few years. And then Atlanta's got another $6 billion over the next 15 to 20 years as well. So we know that there's a lot of money being spent and really these federal dollars are gonna make a big contribution to that. It's sort of a shot in the arm to get even more momentum to these major capital projects. And again, a lot of that work is gonna be um, inside of terminals. It's gonna be the sorts of things that passengers notice when they show up to the airport. And Kevin, I want to get your take too, um, just about all the, the kind of new technology that's being rolled out across the airports. Kevin, you know, think about facial recognition tech, for example. What, what's your take on that? Well, I think it's important for us to distinguish any new technology or data that's being collected potentially by one of the commercial air carriers or by the Transportation Security Administration and the kind of data that might be collected for operational efficiencies by an airport. You know, airports themselves really don't have control over the choices that TSA makes. But when it comes to modern um, tech that airports might want to deploy to proof operations, they really have to be um, certain that they're working with outside providers who are, you know, have adopted the very best uh, strategies and practices for cybersecurity protection, as well as more broadly data governance. So one thing that airports can do is to look to the cybersecurity framework that the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, which is inside the Department of Commerce, um, puts together. In fact, this week, NIST released an updated cybersecurity framework that they developed over a number of years with leading practitioners in industry. So these are the very highest standards uh, that you can have when it comes to cybersecurity protection and data governance. And what you want is, again, airports pushing their outside contractors to make sure that they've adopted those standards but even in addition to that, what we want is airports thinking critically about what data is being collected, um, how is it being stored, who has access to it. You want to have strong guardrails around data resale, but you also want to have an idea on the front end before you go out and put these new systems in place, 
How long are you going to store this data? What are you going to delete it, right? You want to have this thought through on the front end. And I think that's something that this administration is very much aware of and working with airports to get right. Well, we will keep track of it as we travel. Thanks so much, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Glad to be here.